Hey guys, how's it going? This is 40 Games, and I am going to be reacting to Social Repose. Yeah, Repose. Not Response, Repose. Yeah. That kind of slipped my head when I first looked at it. Um, okay, so this was suggested by Renee, Renee the Mimi? Renee the Mini or Rinny the Mini? Whichever you want to pronounce the Rinny, Renee or Rinny. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a fucking mind reader. Um, but anyway, so uh, she didn't really suggest a particular video, so I, I just chose this one because it seems the most interesting and the one I might have the most to talk about. Um, th this video is called Why YouTube Drama is Okay Sometimes. Okay, so this has a lot of juice for me to suck out and milk until it's dry and then send it on YouTube for loads and loads of views. But yeah, let's continue with the video. Hello, my name is Richie from Reggie Response, and today I want to talk about a really touchy subject. Um, Reggie YouTube Response? Drama. A lot of you know that I've been partaking in a little bit of YouTube drama um, in the past month or so with Tyler Hagen and MDE along with Onision and it caused me to think a lot about the subject and while we were making these 10 or 15 hour drives I kind of came to the conclusion uh, in the defense of YouTube drama and its entertainment value that maybe all of YouTube drama isn't so bad. Now before all the mobs of angry internet people line up at my door to kill me, hear me out here. Now obviously the types of YouTube drama that are incredibly meaningful and malicious uh, that try and tank people's careers or encourage fans of each artist to make death threats or things are it's not acceptable that is really bad types of drama obviously there are exceptions with you know like pedophiles and people that murder other people that's also terrible but that's not the type of drama that i'm talking about here i'm talking about the type of drama that actually has entertainment value and is you know fairly lighthearted. i mean generally most drama is malicious um, but is kind of lighthearted in nature like for instance the channel drama alert I watch it all the time I know a lot of people do that channel super hot right now or the channels like leafy is here and h3h3 productions They pretty much thrive off of YouTube drama. That's their existence uh, Leafy is here. Mm, I think you're a bit stretching it dude. He doesn't thrive off drama. He just sort of makes fun of it pretty much like he po points out the mistakes and the stupid shit that's on the internet, he doesn't, like, glorify it, and he doesn't, like, do anything along that lines, but... Yeah, sure, fine. Whatever, I'll let you slide with that. And obviously, people enjoy watching these videos. If you watch the view count, and a lot of people are talking about these different channels, and people who just make a living off of starting drama, and I think there's kind of a backbone to that. It's not totally mindless. And it's mainly because people love drama. No one wants to admit it, but it actually is a ton of fun. I mean, I had a ton of fun watching the Leafy and H3H3 Productions duke it out over a few handful of YouTube videos. Um, not because I oh. like, wanted them to tear each other to shreds, but it's kind of interesting to see how... That's what he's talking about. He's talking about the H3H3 Productions thing. Yeah, no. That wasn't drama. That was just him, like, defending himself, pretty much. I mean, um... If you even watched the uh, rant video that uh, Leafy is here made, he clearly stated, and he had evidence, that the dude was a hypocrite. And most people see him as a complete angel, but he's a hypocrite, and at the end of the day, he kind of ganged up on this dude. I forget the name of the channel that he ganged up on. He, um, he like, poked fun of the channel, and then he made a private message to Leafy uh, uh, to not give him a base to defend himself on uh so basically he was asking leafy to team up with him to poke fun at a small youtuber um that that wasn't cool in my opinion and from my perspective that is not cool uh a, a dude like that i'd never get along with honestly but um eh, saying that that was drama no that's pointing out the fucking asshole that he was Sorry, he was being a dick to that YouTuber. He needed to be called on it. And Leafy called him on it. Uh, but not only did that happen, he also wound up talking about Leafy as well. He wound up talking shit about Leafy. So, yeah. Leafy, that was more Leafy defending himself than actually, 
you know, fueling drama. It's not really that what was going on, but whatever, whatever. Oh, each of them held up uh, in a fight. And obviously, I'm not making this video to highlight the drama I've been having over the past month uh, with people I've said before, but I think there is some entertainment value. Uh, like with Onision uh, and, and, and the different replies back and forth and how they get dumber and dumber. Um, part of it is a joke, part of it isn't, but I think overall I had fun making the videos, uh, you know, replying to his videos. And the videos against Tyler Hagen and parts of MDE. I made that parody a few days ago. Never uh, heard of them. Because I thought of the idea. I wanted to highlight how ridiculous the situation was. So I made that video, and I personally still think it's really funny. So I, I posted it, and I think a portion of you enjoyed it too, whether you wanted to admit it or not. But another thought I had is that if you go all the way back to like plays and stuff you know hundreds of years ago or even like to television uh in the very start of television the very low brow productions that are on air uh like most soap operas have huge followings and i always wondered why that is you know the, the production value is terrible the plot lines are insane uh who could ever watch this but at the same time these shows are all based around drama and i think that comparison translates very well to the youtube community now i wanted to address the criticisms i get very often in the comment section when drama is brought up uh the first one is people call me out for being a man child they're always like hey richie you need to grow up and stop being such a child and just let this drama go it is ridiculous stop being a baby and my response to that is currently i do youtube videos for a living uh, obviously not right now, but I do dress up as a giant goth transformer. <laughs> yeah. that sounds crazy, but it's what I do. So telling me to grow up and be an adult uh, is kind of hold on. Yeah, I actually saw some of this dude's videos. I I watched some of his reaction videos, and yeah, he he legit just puts fucking goth makeup on with a like. Oh, dude, he, he looks like one of those dudes you'd see in a really heavy metal band, like one of the classic heavy metal bands where you'd see the fucking huge black hair with with the face paint with, like, stars on shit, but... Oh. Yeah, he, <laughs> he proper decorated himself to look like whatever the hell he wanted to look like, I guess. Um, continue. Even valid because I would probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos. I'd be an accountant or an astronaut or something. And another comment I see come up quite often when I bring up YouTube drama or there's a very shady video um, is people saying, oh my God, this isn't high school. Stop acting like you're in high school. Uh, this is the real world. You're in, you're in your 20s. You're a grown man. Stop it. And I thought a lot about that too. And my response to that comment is that YouTube, if you really think about it, at least the YouTube community, is a lot almost exactly like high school you have your beauty gurus you got your gamers you got your alternative kids you got your fuck boys you got all these different clicks and all the youtubers are generally you know friends with each other in their own little circles um and that's exactly what high school is you know you have your own little clicks it's hard to get into those clicks um you know obviously people get bullied there's lots of shade being thrown around and the fights are inevitable. The only difference between the YouTube communities and high school is that there are hundreds of thousands of people on the sidelines watching all the YouTubers duke it out. And sometimes it's actually pretty funny and interesting uh, if handled correctly. Which I am not saying that it's always handled correctly. Sometimes it can be horrible and terrible. But my point of this video is that not all YouTube drama is horrible. Sometimes it provides really good entertainment, uh, <laughs> sometimes at the expense of the YouTuber or the people fighting, but you know, YouTube is all about entertainment. Just because most of my videos are singing related or covers or original music doesn't mean all of them have to be. Sometimes if I feel like throwing shade at somebody or throwing the whole tree, uh, I, I, I can do that. That's the beauty of YouTube. So next time you see a fight break out on YouTube over some YouTubers, pull up a chair, bring some popcorn, and let it fizzle out itself. It will always work itself out. It doesn't really need all the repetitive comments. I take exception to that. I, I do not agree with that. That is not true. It entirely depends on the YouTubers. It entirely depends on which YouTubers are doing the back and forth. It completely depends on them and their following. That's kind of pissed me off now because I was actually going to talk about something similar to that in a rant video I'm going to be doing pretty soon. Hell, I might even have it out tomorrow, so what the fuck. 
Um, not gonna lie, I completely disagree with that. I think that if two YouTubers who are relatively big go at it with each other, that's gonna cause some chaos. And I'll talk about specifically which YouTubers in the rant video, but I'm not, I'm gonna save my rant for that video, but right now, dude, I'm just gonna make it known I disagree with you there. ...to add to it. And I guess the last little anecdote I wanted to leave you for today, since I have to play this show in about an hour, condemning a YouTuber for being a drama magnet is like condemning a professional bodybuilder for lifting weights. It just doesn't really make sense. YouTube is based off of views, and while it is a fantastic place to showcase brand new ideas and works of art, it is also meant for entertainment. So just remember that. And that's all I got for today. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you later if I don't die on tour. Okay, goodbye. Yay. Okay, and just a nitpick, <laughs> just a nitpick before I end the reaction, <laughs> just a nitpick. Um... YouTube was originally created as a advertising site for companies. It had nothing to do with entertainment at all. But yeah, um, whoa, everything just fixed itself. What the hell? Well, whatever. Um, all right, so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I kind of disagree with that what that guy said at the end i completely disagree it depends on what youtubers i'm i'm gonna stick by that if if it's a small youtuber if like two small youtubers go at it that's totally fine but if two huge youtubers and some of you may know who i'm talking about go at it uh back and forth between each other it it goes pretty bad pretty fast um not gonna lie but yeah in, in my next reaction video i'm going to you know readdress this but right now i'm just you know chilling out i actually told uh someone that i would be making rant rant videos in the last reaction video and i am but i told them i was going to be doing it on feminism eh, i might i'm still gonna do it but right now there's not much on the feminism scene there's not really much happening with them right now but uh, when there's something that happens with them, I'm gonna talk about it and try to debunk whatever the fuck they're on about now. Um, but right now, I'm gonna stick with certain things that are currently a thing, you know? The, currently, they are issues that are popping up. I'm gonna be talking about them specifically. And hell, maybe even just stuff that I've experienced. Maybe that works. And maybe you guys have experienced it too, making it relatable. Meaning views and and the youtube money because youtube money is good but yeah um <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video until then goodbye